hello there folks and happy Saturday to you. It's lovely to see you again as usual and thanks for coming over just to check out what I got this week in the family food shop and I do hope that I find you very well indeed. So yeah, thanks for coming over. So as you can see, I've gone to Aldi Tesco, I got something from the local fish shop and I also went to the local pet shop as well. So it's a wee bit higher than normal but we have switched up Jasper's food by recommendation from the vet. So the stuff that we were getting before, we've cancelled that. We used to get a subscription every month. It was a company called Catkin but it was getting an awful lot of hairballs. So I've changed his food. So as usual, just start with the dairy and work my way around. So I got some Country Life butter. We've been really liking this one just now. It's a wee bit dearer than the normal one but oh it's just so nice and then I'd run out of this flora light this is just a sunflower spread which I also like to have in as well it's just a wee bit of a healthier alternative or so I'm led to believe and then I got a couple of these protein mousses so I got the lemon one and the chocolate one I've still got quite a lot of yogurts and things there so I didn't need too many and then I got a natural yogurt as well and then a lovely big cauliflower and I'll probably turn this into cauliflower cheese I don't know what else to do with cauliflower I generally roast it or turn it into cauliflower cheese some bananas and now we're into Jersey Royal season these are lovely if you're in a part of the world you can't get these you know that's such a shame because they have such a lovely flavour some vine ripened tomatoes these are lovely these are always really tasty they're quite big as well and then a parsley plant as well. So this will be appearing on most things that I make. These things do last for a wee while. And then I got a six pack of salted crisps. I needed some garlic bread. I usually just put this into the freezer and just lift it out, you know, as I need it. Because there are a fair few slices in there. I got some sandwich ham as well. And I think we'll probably be having rolls or a toasted sandwich. Something like that. And then some tortilla chips as well. I haven't had these for ages and then a four pack of tomato soup and this is one of the last branded things that i'm holding on to they are you know tomato soup by heinz is just lovely some of the fake weetabix for mr what's for tea and i got a fajita kit and i didn't mean to pick up the extra hot one or the spicy one i did you know i meant to pick up the mild one but never mind i will adapt that and then a big pizza as well and i thought this one looked lovely we're just going to have pizza one night and this one has the wee mozzarella pearls on the top and they're lovely and squidgy so i thought that was really good for the price so yeah mozzarella and sun-dried cherry tomato and from the fish shop i got some smoked haddock we're going to be having fish one night i'd run out of the tomato puree something else that seems to last forever and then a garlic and herb dip. This is just for the pizza crust. I'll need, I'll need to get another one of those, actually. That was the last one. Some marmalade and then a couple of jars of pasta sauce. So I like to add these into my own pasta sauces when I make them. It just gives them an extra wee bit of flavour. Some Maltesers and then some diluting juice as well or squash, whatever you want to call it. A couple of cans of deodorant for Mr. What's for Tea. And these ones were an offer also picked up a couple of hand washes and these ones are really good value just for everyday use and I think they're only about a pound each and then a couple of bottles of washing up liquid I tend just to buy fairy because it's always on offer as well a double pack of digestive biscuits some waffle fries just for a change from our normal chips a bag of our usual frozen jacket potatoes and it works out better value getting the eight pack because they do do a four pack as well but it works out much cheaper some bin liners and then jasper's cat litter as well and this is the food that we've moved them onto it's the royal cannon this was recommended by the vet because he was getting quite a lot of hairballs so we're going to try him on this and see how he gets on he's actually really enjoying this one so we get two boxes of the wet food and a big bag of the dry food as well we'll get a bit of each you know every day just to keep it you know balanced and then a wee notebook as well but like i said yeah that was recommended by the vet and he is really enjoying it at the moment the one he was getting before was by a company called catkin which he was enjoying but they changed the recipe i don't know what happened to it but he just doesn't you know he doesn't like it as much and i know that sounds bizarre but he, you know he wasn't liking it as much so and then with the hairballs so we just changed it so we will see 
how he gets on with that. It's not the cheapest out there, but you know, he is getting on a wee bit in years, so we're trying to do the best by him that we can. So that's everything that we got this week. So thank you so much for watching. If you're leaving at this point, then I do have to update my wee Patreon and channel member list. So if your name isn't there, don't panic. I am getting up to updating that within the next few days. And thank you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments. And for those that share the videos as well, it's all very much appreciated. And I will see you back tomorrow for our wee meals of the week video, my favourite time of the week on the channel. So hopefully I will see you back for that. But whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.